Okay, so let's solve this problem. A vertical rectangular plane of height D and base D submerged in a liquid with each stop edge at the liquid surface. Determine the total force F acting on one side and its location from the liquid surface. Okay, so meron tayong rectangular, rectangular plane submerged a liquid. So let's say this is the liquid, liquid surface. Then yung rectangular plane daw is nandun mismo sa ano yung top edge niya sa liquid surface so, dito ah. So, ayan. Okay, so ito, yung base niya is base B and yung total um, height niya is D. Ayan, so this is D. So, the question is determine the total force acting on one side and its location from the um, liquid surface. Okay, so Dito, yung centroid nitong rectangle, so dito doon sa gitna, syempre, ang height niya from the um, liquid surface, um, pwede natin sabihin na h bar. Okay, so this is h bar. And then yung force na nag-act dito is nandito banda, sa baba, which is from h bar to this point, this is e. Pwede sabihin natin na e. So, dito yung force. Yan. So, this is the required force F. So, bakit hindi ito siya banda? Kasi nga, di ba, yung water, so, di ba, yung sa water, let's say, this is the plane. So, yung force ng water is triangular. So, dito siya banda. So, ayan. So, hindi siya mismo sa gitna. This is one third no h, di ba? So, ganyan siya. Okay, so let's solve na. So, una sa solve natin is yung, um, yung force. So, para i-solve yung formula is F is equal to um, gamma yung um, unit weight nung liquid times natin sa ano, um, h, h bar times the area yung cross-sectional area. So dito, ano yung h-bar? Since rectangle to siya, and yung top naman niya is doon sa liquid surface, meaning yung h-bar natin is kalahati lang ito. And D. So, F is equal to gamma times h-bar, which is D over 2. Then times natin sa area, which is base times height lang. So, B times D, which is BD. So, the force is um, gamma times um, BD squared over 2. Or F is equal to 1 half of gamma BD squared. So, this is the force. So, now the question is um, the, determine its location from the liquid surface. So, simula dito. Yan, liquid surface nga dito. So, this is YP. Let's label this as YP or YP is equal to H bar plus E. So, paano ma makuha itong E? So, by um, sa geometry, kung solve natin, yun ito na siya. So, kung ito yun siya, yung height niya na D, di ba? Tapos, since sakto naman siya dito sa taas, so triangular lang yan. Ayan, okay. So, dito, yun yung force niya, di ba? Ganyan. Yung resultant nito is, di ba, nandito lang siya located sa, ano, one-third. Ito. So, ano ano height nito? One-third lang. So, one-third of D. Ganun lang. So, since, um, and from, um, yung height niyan is D hanggang dito sa bottom, so, paano makuha yung height niya from liquid surface to this point? Subtract lang natin. So, yp is equal to d minus 1 third d, which is equal to oh, yp is equal to 2 thirds d. So, this is the answer. Yan lang. Or, kung susolve natin sa derived formula, di ba itong e na to, yung e na yan is equal to the moment of inertia centroidal moment of inertia nung um, cross-section 
Then times lang natin sa y bar times area or y bar is just b h bar. So what is the moment of inertia of the rectangle? It's just bd cube over 12. Then h bar is from here or y bar d over 2 times the area which is bd. Therefore, um, E is equal to, um, pag-simplify natin, so cancel out na itong B. Then D cubed, D squared, so matitira is D. Then divide natin, so D over 6. So this is E. Then since YP is equal to um, H bar, which is over 2 plus E, B over 6. Therefore, um, YP is equal to, Add lang natin to So 6, so 3D plus D is equal to 4D over 6 or is equal, also equal to this one, 2 thirds D. So tama yung sagot natin. So this is the force and this is the location from the liquid surface.